Control, this is Kilo 220. Show me state fire to that call, please. It takes courage and conviction to become a police officer. More than just a job, it's a vocation. Call to action. So I think we can all feel a sense of pride and admiration for the men and women who stand before you today. And let us not underestimate the dedication and hard work that has brought them here. The tough training that will enable them to faithfully discharge the duties of the office of constable, an office with the most demanding of social and moral responsibilities. These constables will be at the heart of our communities. On the front line, whether joining neighborhood or response, they will provide help and inspire hope, acting as the very cornerstone of our justice system. On a daily basis, they will find themselves dealing with people in extremis, confronting life and death situations. Would you please leave? Get out of here! Facing constant challenges, they will need to be resilient, responsible, respectful. Behave yourself, guys! No comment! They will have to remain calm and assertive in the face of provocation. Always striving for conflict resolution. Put your phone away. Control. I'm requesting backup. Ensuring cohesion and security. As they represent the service, executing the highest standards of decision making. In their positive daily interactions with the public. And as their chief superintendent, I will endeavor to support them as they face the ever changing demands of modern policing and gain a foundation of knowledge and experience in the execution of duty whilst earning the enduring respect of the public they serve. Seriously, what is the point of you? Honestly. And today, I'm here not only in my professional capacity, but like you as a family member. So, please step forward, Student Constable P.C. Jake Vickers, my son. So, you ready for your rookie? Born ready. To be a good fit. 22, hometown boy. Goes by the name of Jake Vickers. Yeah. All right. So, what do they say about him? He's just moved back after two years PCSO. Uh, neighborhood? He hasn't done it. Is there anything else he hasn't done? I'm gonna say, he jumped the queue. It won't be my decision, Ryan. Straight on response. No skills, no experience. So what has he got? A dad with stripes on his arm and the big corner office. <laughs> Look, just don't ride him too hard. So what, treat him the same as everyone else, yeah? Exactly. 
And remember, the chief picked you personally. Of course he did. I'm the best babysitter in the business. Sir? Sir? Jake, meet Ryan. Ten weeks. You and me. Let's go. All right, Jake. I don't know what you know and what you don't, so we'll start at the very beginning. Do you know how to do your vehicle checks? So why did you want to do this? Next step. I've done two years PCSO, so... I already know your CV. I want to know why you wanted to become a police officer. Because in my experience, there's three different types. You've got the fighters, who just want to punch people. Then you've got your speed freaks, who just want to drive fast. And then, it's your bedwetters. Finally get a chance to throw their weight around. Now they can hide behind the uniform. So which one are you? I suppose I'm a chip off the old block. Dad's a policeman. Let's just be clear. You might be a policeman. Your dad is a politician. Let's go. I just, I just want you to know I'm totally up for this. And I'm freaking out, obviously. Nervous. You should be. So I'm going to be all over you. Anything that comes between you and your ability to do the job properly will become my problem. So, is there anything you need to tell me? Um, open book, really. And I'm gay, 22, single. So what about you? Married. Kids. Kids. Listen. Joe, this is Kilo 220. Show us state five to that call, please. Right. Time to see what you're made of. Control, this is Kilo 220, Shah State 6, over. Phil, you, you come in here, you come in here, I will stab you up, man. Stop threatening me and open the door. No, I'm serious, you all need a full-blown military operation, man. Listen, if you don't... Nathan, do you remember me? Look, I want you to come to the door and let us in. First, you put that knife down for me. Go on, just put it down. And don't touch it, please. Oh, I'm out of it, man. I'm out of it. I know you are. So why don't you put the knife down? Just put it on the floor and then we can help you. It's going to be all right. Oh, I'm really sorry. I I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, it's OK. It's all right. This... Oh. Okay. <laughs> made a bit of a mess of your arms there, Nathan. Yeah. You happy for us to try and bandage him up? Oh. You want me to do it? Can you see an ambulance? 
Gloves. Is it okay if Jake does it? It's his first day. Mm -hmm. I reckon he'll do a good job. Oh, look, I'm, I'm gonna have a quick look around. Is there anything we should know about? Any sharps, needles, pit bulls in your bedroom? <laughs> All right. Keep your arms up for me, right? That's it. Keep... Yeah, no, I can't help you if you keep flailing about. That's it. Keep... Uh, All right. I, I didn't mean to do it. I swear. It's okay. I just, I just, I, I couldn't think of anything else to do. Please, like, p p things get on top of me, you know. with us, get in our nice warm van, and we can pop down to the hospital. No, no, Please. no, I'm not going there. Uh... just need the doctors to take a quick look at those. I won't do it! I won't go! I won't go! Nice job. It's all about how you talk to people, isn't it? I've seen a huge improvement since last time. I'd even say he's enjoying it. No, it's always been about confidence with him. But once he got over his nerves, I knew he'd enjoy it. He's definitely got more movement in his socket. Hopefully, we'll be able to build up the body mass. <laughs> he even jumped straight in the pool this morning. Oh, bless him. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm, sorry, yes. <clears throat> Right. All right, well, um, well, look, I'll post you another check. Yeah. But just to let you know that Ruth, my dog sitter, will be uh, picking him up from the swimming pool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cheers. Bye. Bye-bye. Your dog's having swimming lessons. He has hip dysplasia. It's a recognised medical treatment. I spend more on that mutt than I do on my kids. Well, I see that mutt more than you do your kids. Keegan Benson's out, time on remand. Oh, good. Our favourite racist. And the kids whose legs he broke, probably still in physio. Seriously, there's no point. Mum, <laughs> I'm fine. Oh, yeah, not love particular. <laughs> I got your recipe. Ah, I'm sure father, I won't forget. Yeah, I'm buying it now. Okay, bye, mom. Laughing at me. Very ragged.
Hamish. So much. Come on, guys. Come take me. We're going to need to take a look at your CCTV. Doesn't work. Not for weeks. I keep bringing the company. Where, where were you when the attack happened? Cold store downstairs. I heard the shouting, but when I came up, he was lying on the floor covered in blood. Kaleem standing next to him. Sorry, Kaleem. My son. Hello, Kaleem. My name's Joe. How old are you? He's eight. He's off sick. Do you like superheroes, Kaleem? Who's your favourite? Would you like to tell me what you saw? You didn't see anything. When the teacher was taking the register, she realised Lauren hadn't come in with the others. I warned them about him. Oh, God, my little girl. How long have you been divorced? We split up 18 months ago. Decree Absolute finally came through last week, and I thought it was over. I thought we were free. It's been hell. Please, you have to help me. Yeah, we will. We've got his mobile and car registration, and we're trying to locate him as we speak, so if you could tell me a little bit about him. Is there a history of mental illness? He's a depressive. Paranoid, volatile, that he won't get help. Can't hold down a job. Do you have any reason to believe that he might hurt your daughter? I don't know. I don't know what he's capable of. You said it was your first day. It is. Do you like it? What? Being a cop. <laughs> ah, so far, so good. I had a job once. Morrison's. Delhi counter. Cheese, ham. Teddy bear lunch and me. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, we had that. So what happened? Walked out. My boss was a dick. <laughs> OK, Nathan. We're going to head off now, get back to work. You're going to stay here, let the doctors and nurses take care of you, all right? You sure he's going to be all right on his own? The crisis team have been beat. They're on their way. There's nothing else we can do here. Shouldn't we wait until they get here? Look, this is a place of safety. No crime has been committed. And until you've been on the job for more than three minutes, maybe you'll let me make the decisions, all right? All right. Chill. We're off now, Nathan. Hey, look after yourself, mate. I'll see you around. Mr. Bangash, I've got a young man lying in hospital. At this point, we don't even know if he's going to make it, so any help you can give us. Why should I help you? My shop was vandalised. Three days I waited for the police. Three days. My son shouted out on the bus. My mother abused in the street. You're never there for us. I just want a quick chat. Just Kaleem telling us what he saw. And as I've explained, Mr. Bangash is well within his rights not to allow his son to be interviewed. Yeah, can I have a quick word? Excuse 
excuse me. I've got a 21-year-old in intensive care. His parents flying in from India. Bugger all forensic evidence. That kid is my best witness. I'm sorry. Are you trying to appeal to my better nature? I thought you knew me better than that. Just to be clear, you don't tell me to chill. You don't undermine me in public. When you're in this car, in that uniform, you're one of the team and you act accordingly. If you got a problem with that, talk to your dad. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Study period. It's not look like studying. Do you know what this looks like? This looks like you're wasting your life when you should be in school. <laughs> well, you think this is funny? This is not a playground. Listen, get back to school now. And I'll be calling your tutor to make sure that you do. Go on. School! Got kids then? Control, this is Kilo 220. Show us state five to that request, please. Stop! Please stop! Donna, what's your position? Donna! Please stop! Control! Oh, hell yeah! There she is. She's gone. Go on. Jake, cover! Right, have a rest. Ah! Madagascar. She's quite a bit Madagascar, though. Mate, does she look like she's from Madagascar? Uh -huh. What does that mean? What, what do I look like? Do I look Italian? Oh, hang on. What? You've got a bit of your nonna's lasagna just stuck between your teeth there. funny. You're Bulgarian. Yeah, Bulgarian. 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 Hello, Lamajlan. This is Brighton Central. We've got a Bulgarian <laughs> female in custody. OK, I'll hold. Simon Reddington. I'm the duty solicitor. Who have I got next? One second, please, Mr. Reddington. Oh. Oh. Do you know who my mother is? We don't care. Well, you will care because my mother's a lawyer. She's a very important QC. We don't care what people's parents do. Come in. Uh, 
I understand your witness isn't talking, so I've called a local TV press conference scheduled for this afternoon. You lead. Yeah, sir, with respect. All right, you'll be fine. I'll be with you. <sighs> Anything else? Well, maybe we could go out afterwards. Yeah. Um... Just, just for a, a bite to eat. It's, it's been a while. That's not going to be possible tonight. So how's Debbie? <clears throat> Yeah, OK, great. Thank you. Good news. We've been able to locate James to within a mile radius. We've placed a marker on his vehicle and put out an all-ports warning. Thank God. So when are you going to move in, get Lauren back? It's not as simple as that. But you just said you'd located him. No, we, we don't have an exact location. It, it's, uh, it's a process of triangulation. It takes time. Oh, I don't believe this. My daughter might not have time. Would you like me to get a uh, family liaison officer? No! No, I don't want a family liaison officer. I just want you to do something before it's too late. He was massively disappointed! <laughs> oh. So, good morning? I've been bled on, spat on and felt up. And how's your mentor? I know, bundle of laughs, isn't it? <laughs> Don't have to eat there, big boy. Drake hasn't even got his food yet. Mm. Wednesday. So? Double lunch. Double lunch, exactly. Boom. Soup sandwich. Lino likes his pork products. Ah, oh, practically vegan. <laughs> no, I haven't seen him yet. He went straight out of the phone. I've heard he's dead in there too. Doesn't take up his dad then. <laughs> Doesn't sound like it. Looking forward to seeing him. Fresh meat. Easy on the eye. What's <laughs> not <to> like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No. This is Charlie Singer on 945. I'm on Arena Square. I have a robbery in progress. I'm on the massive thing down your large street down. Two or more in the pickup truck. They're attempting to take the ATM. Jake, come on! Kilo 230, you take the post road. We'll head in land on Farmer Road. Priority over. Go ahead, Kilo 220. Uh, we 
website, the Silver Pickup Track Registration, Golf Victor 06 November, Bravo X ray. The vehicle is heading into Farmer. I am an initial pursuit train driver in a March response vehicle. I am behind the vehicle, which is travelling at speeds in excess of 6 to 0 miles per hour. I'm climbing. Do the commentary. What? Now! Um, hi guys, this is Jake. Um, control, this is Kilo 220. Um, we're heading down um, a, a road. Uh, we're heading west. Um, we, we, we just passed a, a, a windmill. Oh, he's braking. He's turning left, left, left towards the university. He's passing. He's turning into South North Road. North South Road. North South Road. Well, oh, the sat nav's not working. He's not keeping up. I, I, I don't know where we are. Running red lights onto the, on the 27. We're, we're travelling westbound on the Bravo 27. Stanmer Park. Uh, anywhere south of Stanmer Park would be good. Come on, come on! Ooh. How much do I love that? You're a child. <laughs> Kilo 230 to Kilo 220. We are state six with three in the point as requested. Kilo 230, we're approaching your location. Faster than it's pulling away. We will be with you in. You said it was the Bravo 27. Bravo 27. Sorry, mate. Vehicle is still on the road. Alpha 27 heading east. Come on! Come on! Out the way! Come on! Loss, loss, loss. And the thing is, we were trying to catch some really bad men and we went and caught your daddy by mistake. But thanks for being so reasonable about it. We'll get you towed, get you somewhere safe. Control, this is Kilo 230. Go ahead, Donna. Can I have recovery for a vehicle on the Bravo 27 to Brighton Central Tires? Recovery is for a manual vehicle which has been stung by police in error. Copy that, Donna. Your location, please. Location is the Stanmer Park Junction. Vehicle is a green hatchback. Registration, November 258, Hotel Lima Whiskey. Over. Control received. Are you aware that the vehicle is marked on PNC as an urgent stop and detain all occupants? Do you have the occupants with you? Control, what was the marker for? Child abduction, over. The occupants of the car have left the scene. PC Moretti and I are searching the area now for them. Can I confirm the description, please? Suspect is James Quirk, age 36, with dark hair and wearing a brown coat and dark trousers. Hey, look, I, I hadn't done a commentary before. 
and the bloody sat nav. I don't know if it's an A road, B road. No, you don't. You don't know anything. <laughs> no, no one else is going to say this to your face, so I will. Everyone thinks you got this job because of your dad. Is that what you think? I think there's a reason why people put time in our neighborhood. Because then they know where they are. They know what they're doing. Because this, this job is hard enough. No respect from the public. Press printing lies. Every home secretary cutting us off at the knees. Shit from all sides. And then I get saddled with you. Well, you know what? You should be pleased. What? No, you're looking for an excuse to jump down my neck the moment I started. On my back. That is my job. I'm tasked to monitor and assess no, it's you. It's more than that, and you know it. It's, I can't help being the boss of son, but you can help being the... A what? Any patrol, please, for a call on the Art Glen Estate, 32 Peacemore Avenue. Members of the public have reported a disturbance at a house party. Your call sign, please. Patrol, this is Kilo 220. Show us state fire to that call, please. today. <clears throat> this is still very much an ongoing investigation. And we have a dedicated team of police officers working extremely hard to find out exactly what happened. In the meantime, I would appeal for any witnesses or anybody with any information at all to come forward and contact us. D.S. Moffat will now read a short statement from Mr. and Mrs. Sharma, who are in India have been informed of the attack on their son. Our beloved son Amit had his whole life ahead of him when he left for the UK. He is now unconscious in hospital fighting for that life after a senseless, unprovoked attack. Amit is our only son, our pride and joy, and we are devastated about what has happened to him. We are asking for any information Oh my God, look at that chin. I look just like my mum. That a good thing? Well, no, not really. She hasn't seen her feet for 20 years. Hello? Speaking. Oh, that's great. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye. Crime Stoppers tip off. Name for the Sharma stabbing. Go on. Keegan Benson. Home address 32 Peacemore Avenue. Control, this is Kilo 220. We've arrived at 32 Peacemore Avenue in response to the disturbance report. A large number of nominals in the front garden. We need at least a couple more double crew cars before we can enter the building. Receive Kilo 220, stand by. Seriously, any time. Are you sure? 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 We need to go in. He's my suspect. Just wait for backup this evening. Oh, oh, shit. OK, here we go. Control. Just had a bottle thrown at the police vehicle. Request urgent assistance. Receive Kilo 220. Your nearest units are 20 minutes away. Oh, Jesus Christ. We have to go now. We wait. I've lost him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. All right, look. I'm going to go around the back just in case he goes over the fence. You stay with him. Do as you're told. Use your aspect necessary. Get the suspect in and out as quickly as possible. No heroics.
So you did have him. You had James, and then you let him go. As I've explained, his vehicle was involved in another incident which some uniformed officers were dealing with. So you're no closer to finding them? It's him. He sent a message. OK, um, I want you to know why I'm doing this. And I need you to listen and not hide behind solicitors and custody agreements okay now i'm lauren's dad right i'm a dad and, and lauren wants me to be her dad don't you lauren yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah not some stranger who just picks her up and takes her to swings every other saturday so just lauren um don't be scared all right just um just tell mommy that you you want to be with me? Just tell her you want to be with me forever. Go, that should hold it together. I don't think you're scar. Oh, scars are cool. As long as it's enough to get that little scrotum serious assault. Heard he did all right. Yeah, seems so. Surprisingly pugnacious, considering who his dad is. Jake.
Where's your dad, Lauren? Where's daddy? Suspect. Everyone okay? Boss. Sorry you were put in that situation. I just don't have the bodies. It's not your fault. How'd it go? Hmm? Rocky first shift. Yeah. <laughs> you did all right. And you get used to it. How long does it take? About two years. I haven't seen a crash like that in a while. It's horrible. Mm. Hey, I was just saying sorry to Ryan. We had to help with traffic, RTA. We couldn't get away. Oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay, sounded like a rock. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fine. You want to train with us tonight? Tonight? Uh, yeah. Yeah, all right. Chasing visions of our future. 
everything. <laughs> you want my advice? Don't sleep with the enemy. Any patrol please for an immediate graded call to Brighton Beach, Madeira Drive. A member of the public has reported a body under the pier. Risk Miss Purr. So you know how this could have ended, don't you? IPCC, professional standards, maybe even gross negligence. We took him to a place of safety. No crime was committed, sir. We did nothing wrong. This time, you were lucky. You were lucky this isn't someone's beloved son. No one will miss him, no one will care. He will be forgotten. But I will not forget. You are the tutor constable. The experienced officer. Do not jeopardize my son's career before it's even begun. Are we understood? Understood, sir. task. You right? Just doing my job. Sir. Take anything for granted. Check everything twice. See if everyone can make mistakes. 